I got to give tremendous credit to Stephen Colbert and John Stewart. Uh, this is nothing surprising, but their work on the super PAC issue has been phenomenal. They've been doing a much better job of pointing out uh, the absurdity of the super PACs than anyone else. Uh, everybody else already gives them credit for this, but I love what they did with their latest ad. Now, of course, this is not the Colbert Pack anymore. This is the definitely not Colbert Pack, uh, or as they, uh, the exact title being, definitely not coordinating with Stephen Colbert, super PAC that now John Stewart has taken over as Colbert runs for the president of the United States of South Carolina. Uh, and by the way, doing better than Huntsman. Maybe it was Colbert who knocked out Huntsman. He could take credit for that tonight, it makes sense. Anyway, here's an ad they're running about uh, Mitt Romney that I absolutely love. Corporations, America's greatest institution. They built this country one job at a time. Mitt Romney says he's for corporations. Corporations are people, my friend. But Mitt Romney has a secret. As head of Bain Capital, he bought companies, carved them up, and got rid of what he couldn't use. If Mitt Romney really believes... Corporations are people, my friend. Then Mitt Romney is a serial killer. He's Mitt the Ripper. If you believe corporations are people, do your duty and protect them. On Saturday, January 21st, stop Mitt the Ripper before he kills again. Americans for Better Tomorrow Tomorrow are responsible for the content of this advertising. That's still Americans for a Better Tomorrow Tomorrow. That was Colbert's super PAC. Uh-oh, we could have problems here. Okay, seriously, I mean, is there a better way of pointing out the absurdity of corporations being people? <laughs> and it was Mitt Romney himself who said it there. My friend. Brilliant. Goddamn brilliant. God bless Colbert and Jon Stewart. That's why people love them. Because not only are they funny, but they make the best points. Who, by the way, imagine anyone in the establishment media, CNN or, or otherwise, making that cogent point. Wait a minute, how could they be human beings if, and you could list a hundred different things, if, as a lot of people are saying, if Texas doesn't execute them, they're not human beings. Okay, and Mitt Romney executed how many uh, corporations? Uh, should he be locked up? I mean, it is the most obvious point in the world, but you won't see anyone else making it. And even when the rest of the media run uh, clips of Colbert and uh, Stewart, they'll shake their head like, <laughs> isn't that amusing? Well, let's go on treating them as if they're human beings anyway. <laughs> 